see down here okay we're doing another test um my previous test i've, I've re-aimed camera one uh, so i decided uh, i better do another test because my previous test my uh my lapel is going through the blue uh, cam two on the bluetooth over to the mixer had some buzz in it i don't know why only thing that i can really see is different is that um I've got it sitting right here instead of I had it last time I kind of had it up here behind the mixer but I well, no I did it both ways I, I have it plugged in to keep it from going down I have it plugged in uh, to one of the phone chargers and they're quieter uh, than that well and if you plug something that really doesn't need two amps into this this one up here by itself you'll get two amps uh, and it's usually too much something like my camera it'll shut down and I've got my little uh, Noah Rather radio plugged into it. I like to keep it in there to keep uh, keep it uh, charged up, you know. But anyway, um, so I'm not. I've only got uh, camera one, camera four, the Bluetooth over camera two. It's being so it's audio instead of video right now. I turned off the uh, IP webcam, so there's no video coming off of it. And camera three is turned off over there. It's behind me. Uh, if this doesn't work right uh, with the uh, Bluetooth, then I'll just go ahead and use camera three for audio like I always have done before. Because I need wireless to uh, let me get over here on cam four and I'll show cam four. See, I'm going to be unboxing some stuff with it right here in front of me like that. And uh, I need to move the SM58 out of the way and have wireless, you know, to do it easily. So, um, let's see. Uniscope and Cam 1 is on. Uh, I could use that. And Uniscope and Cam 4 if I wanted to. And just Uniscope. I just stuck that up there. Uh, something that has to do with some of the stuff I ordered. Uh, but my, uh, I've forgotten about that though. That's a note to self there. I need to redo the, the my fix on the knob with the JV weld. I think I mixed it wrong. You should, I remember in the... Uh, in the video I've been watching, you know, testing different, different uh, epoxies and stuff. Um, he did. He pulled it off. He pulled some off. Just tore it off, and it didn't. It wasn't very strong in his test. And then he went later. He said, uh, "I don't think I did that right." And then I'd forgotten what happened after that. I kind of rem well, I didn't remember all that at first. And so later, after I had trouble with it, actually, it was while I was doing it, I started thinking, you know what? I think you're supposed to cut that stuff off. And I got to thinking it makes perfect sense because if you cut it, you're going to get an even amount of uh, hardener and, and uh, epoxy. I forgot the proper way, the way they say it, but anyway. Um, so I think what happened is I just it ended up being too soft when it dried because it already loosened up quite a bit. Oh, that got loud. <clears throat> oh, I've got it. I turn the. Uh, I got it too loud now. I need to listen to that. I turn the uh, the V amp two all the way back up. I used to always run it that way at full blast, but I can see right now that's way too loud. Unless I want to back off on my uh, channel. What I had done. Oh yeah, I'm using that. Uh, yeah, I need to back off on that. Um, Okay, so let's do that during this test. Let's see, what do I want? I just want the, just a screencast, I think. Okay, so um, I'll get the SM50. Yeah, it's clipping like crazy. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go very much too the mic. Okay, I turned the master. Well, actually, I had it way back. This is not... Uh, check one, two... Check one, two. It's probably right. that that clicking one you make with my tongue. That usually tells me where the best way I, I I've got to quickly find out what my peak my peak is going to be. Uh, but I'm going to open this up where I can 
actually listen to it as well. And all the video feedback bugs me. So I don't know if that helps the machine handle that video. That video feedback actually works in the machine. I don't know if that helps, but it uh, definitely helps my eyes. All right, I'm going to just uh, monitor it now. I, don't, I can't get to the volume. I have to move the box. That's okay. Volume on the keyboard so I can hear it. Check one, two, check, check. What I had noticed, well, let me go ahead and try the other uh, mic now. Check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two. Check. About the same. I think they both need to be. I think they both need to be in the same place. But the previous recording was in the wrong. It was too low the volume. The volume of the recording was too low. Okay, well, I should have tested. Yeah, now i got to do it again. Okay, the volume of the recording was so low that... Uh, let's do board and desktop now. Yeah, the volume of the recording was so low, and I'm not sure... Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, if I'm going to listen to it, I do. If I'm going to listen to it. No, I don't need to listen to it this time. Now, that sounds good. It looks good on the meter in OBS. So maybe it, but I was having, normally I, I turn my volume on this computer up to halfway and it's just right when I listen back to it. I had to turn it up all the way to even hear what I was saying on the SM58. And then I, there was a buzz in the in the Bluetooth. It could have been because I was running the uh, IP webcam and Bluetooth, so it was activating a lot of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth all at the same time. And it could have caused some noise uh, in the audio because of both signals. I, what I've been, uh, I never knew it until I started getting into using Bluetooth stuff, that Bluetooth is supposed to cause interference in Wi-Fi signals, but it might be that it happened the opposite <laughs> here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to, oh yeah, I'll stay right here, just like I thought I was going to. Okay, now, <clears throat> check one, two, hello, check. That may not be, a, or, yeah, it may not be a good enough signal. I usually don't make, I try not to make really loud noises. I should be, when I'm talking normal, I like to keep it just touching the yellow. Yeah, check one. Yeah. I think I probably need a little more. But let's just listen to that and then, uh, and on both of them. All right, now check one, two. It's kind of hard to guess where I was at. Being, let's get them in the same place. Yeah, okay. Get them on the same place about 2 o'clock. This one's a little hotter, it seems. Well, I'm closer to the mic. That would make sense. You Normally, I'm a little closer to the mic. Uh, I can't get any closer with this workbench here. The leg stops my chair from going any further. Okay, now I'm going to... doesn't really matter which one I'm on. Oh, yeah. That's the one that I'm used to. Yeah, make sure my gain hadn't been bumped or anything. It's all in the same place. Only thing I've been changing is the master output on here. For some reason, everything changed a little bit. When I was clicking my, clacking my tongue before, it was uh, on the SM58. It was it was just going right up to the edge of the red, and that's what I like. Check one, two. Check one, two. Now it went on up in there. Check. Hello, check. Hey, Don here. Hey, Don here. All right. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that's too much, I think. <coughs> Last thing you want with digital is uh, going into the red. Check one, do. 
Hey, check. Hey, hello. Hey, Don here. Yeah, normally it would be about right there. <clears throat> but today I'm not. All right. <clears throat> so I think maybe that's better. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Okay, now let's swap, swap mics again. Check one, two. Hello, check. Let me get up here and look at it. All right, check. Hello, check. Hello, check. I keep thinking I got to get back in the mic position, but I'm I'm wearing the lapels. Hello, check one, two. They actually seem like they need to come up some more to make them the same as the uh, 58. Hey. Too much. I don't think so. I think they should be the same. Check one, two. Hello, check. I'm going to leave it on these this time. Uh, if it sounds, if it's going to be less trouble, I can just go ahead. I wanted to start with the 58 when I have the camera on me. Uh, camera one. I like to say hello before I start, you know. Uh, but this this the Bluetooth is way behind. Well, I I think it might be a little better on the uh, going through the mixer than it was going straight to the camera. So yeah, let, that's the other thing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> well, if the, yeah, if that's any indication from what I see in the preview, the preview doesn't always come out the way the video does. If that's any indication, then uh, whoa, that's way behind, just like usual. All right, now let's get out of this test and see how it turns out.